Hello everyone, welcome to Virtual Board. In this video, I'm going to show you how can you actually integrate charts into your Angular application. So this is a basic Angular application that I have created, and I have integrated two charts here: bar chart and pie chart. Generally, you see charts in many web applications in dashboard designs. So let us see how can we actually implement a chart into an application, into an Angular application. So this chart also has a button which manipulates data values. Same we have in pie chart. Okay. So let us see how can we actually add a chart into an Angular application. So to start with, I have created a simple Angular application that is running on localhost 4200, and it has a heading Angular Chart Integration. Now, so basically we use npm libraries when we want to integrate or add charts into our Angular application. So for this tutorial, I'm using ng2 chart library and I also attached the link into the description box. So in the readme file of this ng2 chart library, you will find all the information regarding the usage and demo, the installation process. But the important thing here is the Angular version compatibility table. So this table basically has the Angular versions and it's compatible ng2 chart version so for this tutorial i'm using angular 15 so which is the compatible ng2 version for me this is version 3.x or version 4.x so i'll be using either version 3.x or 4.x for this tutorial okay now at the top you will see a samples using ng2 charts so let me click on this button open a new tab okay so you will see ng2 charts and we have a general info here now here we have all these steps that we have to follow the first step is to install ng2 charts using npm so what you have to do you have to copy this go to your application and paste this command but the thing to keep in mind is i'm using angular 15 so i will have to add so which was the compatible version for me that was 4.x okay ng2 chart version 4.x so i'll add here 4.0.0 and whenever you will press enter you will see in your package or json file this ng2 chart will be added as a dependency okay this was our step number one so i've already done that so i'm not doing it again but you have to press enter here now what we have to do step number two is let's go here and step number two is install chart library now i'll select this copy this and now what i'll do Now I will run this command npm install iphone iphone save chart.js and as soon as I'll press enter this chart.js library will also get added here. Okay. Now what is our step number three? Step number three is in order to use in the two charts, you need to import ng chart module. Now in our app.module, as this is the root module of our application, what we have to do, we have to add this. First of all, we have to add this import statement. So I will add here import ng chart module. And this is a module, so we will add it into the imports array this way. This is our this was our step number three. Now, what is our step number four? Global configuration. So when you import ng chart module, you can pass a global configuration object to it. Okay. So the first way of passing the global configuration object is this, and the other way of alternate ways. Alternatively, include a provider in your module or one of the parent module. So we can also add this as a provider in the provider side. So what I'll do, I'll copy this ng child configuration from here. And now just simply copy this thing. And inside the provider array, you have to paste this. Save this. Okay. Step number three is also done. Now that was all now let's say if i want to integrate this bar chart how can i do that i will copy the see you are getting two options markup and typescript so first of all i'll copy this markup from here now i'll go to app.component.html we'll create a div here and i will add this let me format the document okay we are getting some errors because we have not yet implemented the typescript now go to typescript and first of all, I'll copy these import statements and I will replace it with the 
current import statement okay now that might be the case or this might be the case that you you are getting this error that data data labels plugin is declared but its values never read okay so what you have to do for whichever plugin you get this error copy that plugin name in your terminal type npm install npm install and paste that plugin name and press enter okay so you see i'm getting this error that could not resolve dependency or you might get these types of errors so what you have to do just add a flag legacy peer depths so basically when there is dependency mismatch you get these type of errors that it could not resolve the dependency so you can fix it this way for now now what you have to do is the uh, now everything i'll copy which is inside the class so i'll copy everything from here and paste here now you see all the errors are gone i will save the ts file i will save the html file and if i will go to browser now localhost 4200 so you can see we are getting a chart here okay now let us style this so i will add it a class wrapper So give it a height as 400 pixel with as 100% and save this see so you can see we have a bar chart here so similarly you can add similarly you can add any type of chart so we have various options here like donut chart, radar chart, pie chart, polar area chart, bubble chart, scatter chart, right. So in the same way you can add any chart in your application. So I hope you have now the basic understanding of how you can add a chart in an Angular application. If you have any more doubts or any more questions regarding this, you can uh, write them in the comment box and I will also provide the GitHub link for my repo for this repo so you can get the code for this this particular application so it is different in the terms of only styling i am not uh, showing you the styling tutorial right now so you can get this downloaded and you can see what the html and css i've used basically in this application i use bootstrap mainly so all the styling that you can see here is uh, is due to bootstrap styling so that's all for this video. I hope you would have liked the video. If video was helpful, give it a like, share with your friends and thank you for watching the video.